is happening. All you mosquito hating friends of mine. What do I got here, you ask? Motor. Off of a lawnmower that just had to crap out on us. What a shame. Why am I down here in the woods with it, you ask? Without the mower? Or the rest of the mower? Good question. I got my truck a little ways up the hill with a couple of guns of mine. I'll let you figure it out on your own. Got a camera over here to watch this here uh, motor as it, re as it receives some lead penetration. Take that as you wish. Let me skip on up to the truck in my usual fashion. And I'll show you what I got today. So I got a couple of my hard hitters today. A New England handy rifle. Chambered in 243. Nice little gun. Got a 3 to 12 by 44. A Simmons, no, center point scope sitting on top of her. Gun that my dad got for me when I was just, yeah. And one of my more recent rifles that I got. A Savage Axis 2XP, I believe, is what it's called. Savage Axis. Chambered in 308. Set these two shells kind of side by side. There's a difference in them. Today's video is going to be a little shorter for y'all. Um, it's kind of a busy day for me today. Um, I ain't got a whole lot of time to be having fun. But it, uh, this is something that I've wanted to see and do. Getting a couple hard hitters. Out of some, uh, hitting something that can take some hard hits. A little bit of tongue twister for some of us. But anyway, let me go get my camera down yonder rolling. Let me get it set up right quick. And what you say we let the 243 rip first, shall we? So let me hop on top of my truck. Like every redneck marksman does, right? I don't know. Oh. Almost forgot my muff. Protect your hearing, boys and girls. Get my foggy glasses on. We can hit something. Get my scope in over here. Camera back. I ain't shot this gun in a while. It's kind of awkward. I hit it. Let's send another one its way just for good measure. Pull one out of my trusty old sling. Drop that down. Pretty sure I hit it on one of those. Go check her out. You can see you getting closer that I definitely hit it on one of those. Let's see. Um, there's one that I know I hit. I believe that was the second shot. I 
think right over here I might have clipped it let's see looks like we shattered the case in here but looks like that's all the damage that occurred let's see over here there's the top side glance of it that I don't recall that being there when I ripped this thing off the frame. Yeah, there's that. And those are, I believe, 80 grain soft points um, put out by Remington. I don't know if y'all can see it, but she be smoking. So. There's that with 243. Gonna try to land one over here kinda close with that 308. And then I'm gonna try to put one or two of both over here in the hood. Um, guess we'll see how it goes. I'll be trying to put that 308 like right in this general area-ish. Gonna try to at least. Let's see how she writes. Got the 308. Let me hop up here. Load one and a two. Let's see what we can do. These are 150 grain federal soft points. Let's see if we can nail it. As soon as I get into a good shooting position. I doubt I hit where I wanted with that shot. Let's see if I can hit better. Well, I think I see a decent spot there. Let me go ahead and pump one more in, just to be safe. sure where that one went. Three is the charm, right? Yeah, I see a hole with that one. Let's go check her out. I know I see a good hole on that shot. I'm confident with it. I was pretty certain I hit it on that first shot, but I didn't feel quite confident with it. And then the second one that I knew I, oh, the one that I knew I seen was right here. That was the second definite hit. Oh, I think I see where that other random shot went, that second one. Nipped it right there on the edge. Right by that crack from the 243. Did we exit? Did we exit? Did we exit? Ooh! I see an exit wound right there. Focus. Focus. You're focusing enough. Smoke is still billowing out. Bet you it's nice and toasty in there. Looks like that's the closest thing to an exit we got so far. Wow. That's some pretty thick stuff, too. Focus. Yeah, look at the thickness of that. I believe cast iron is what these are made out of.
turn the flash on to maybe see back up in there. I don't think my camera is having none of it too well. Oh, looks like I can just make out one of my entrances over there. Focus! I think my phone's a little too big though. Well, this looks like the best shot of the inside y'all are gonna get. There's kind of what it looks like on the inside of a lawnmower motor. <laughs> Alrighty then. So now that we, well now that we know that much, think we can get anything through the other side. Um, I've got some FMJs for the 308, but all I've got is the soft points for the 243, which I just noticed something. You can see daylight through that hole. <laughs> cool. So let me try to plug one in, one or two in on the other side. Let's see what we can do. So, what I'm going to do this time is go ahead and take both shots together. Again, I'm going to try to do the 243 on the right and 308 on the left. We'll see if we can get into that head. Make your own jokes out of that. So, here goes nothing, I reckon. Then do the 243 first. Open up the breech. Chamber, whatever. Well, I guess it would be the breech. Run another piece of lead into the tube. And drop down. Pull the hammer. And we let her rip. I hit one of the trees down yonder. Got this 243 sided in for a totally different yardage. And my goggles are fogging up. I 
got to be able to see. Sorry, guys. It's always a good idea to wear eye and ear protection. Until you can't see it. hole down there. So let's give the three legs an attempt. Adjust the spent casing. Drop a new one in the tube. And then let's give this one a try. better magnification on this right quick. Sense I see another new hole, but I'm not too sure. Man, I really do not know. It's hard to tell. Rack another one in. Man, it is really hard to tell. I got one more FMJ here. I want to be certain of this. I do better if it's breathing. And if you can tell me the movie that's off of, great. If not, I don't like you. You know what, for better certainty, and to empty the mag, I've got one more soft point in here. Let's go ahead and send it. Even though I think I see another new hole. Each of those shots carried a 25% chance. I'll hold on to that thought. At least give myself some hope. So I've got both of those rifles sighted in for a further distance than this. Um, get that wire out of the way. That's one that I thought was a 243. I want to say uh, that was one of the 308s, I'd like to say. Um, there's where something came ripping through. I think I was just, oh, I really don't, yeah, I was hitting high. I don't think I was quite holding low enough, plus there is a little bit of a drop down here. I'm kind of shooting downhill, so that kind of affects it. Pretty sure that, oh, I know that was a 243 and I think it went into the hood, we just didn't exit. I, th 
I'd like to say that's one of the last 308s. I just don't think I was holding it quite low enough. Let's get that bent up out of the way. Yeah, we don't have any exit that I can see. Well, nothing else. All you got is a lawnmower motor to hide behind. At least you can rest assured that you'll likely be safe. And maybe the guy shooting at you has his rifle sighted in for a lot further. At least there's that. I did learn something though. These things will stop a lot. Both of those rifles are sending the lead out at plenty over 3,000 feet per second. The 243, I believe, sends them at like 3,600 foot per second at the muzzle. The 308, almost 3,300. So plenty of speed. So, until next time, you guys, please pray that I have time to get a better sight in with these rifles. <laughs> Catch y'all around.